Yeah, it's uh, August 15th, 2018. 08, 15, 2018. 104 p.m. Uh, playing the Xbox. I'd say for the last five, ten minutes. Uh, it started sketching out. Like, lagging. I reset the modem last night because shit was happening. More or less being intimidated. Somebody's jamming my shit. They're reverberating shit in a louder voice. Just something coincidental. If it isn't just overhearing them, they're also utilizing uh, like LRAD technology and shit around here. Anyhow, trying to act like, you know, I'm being punished. The rights to access or utilize electronics or just on top utilizing it as an intimidation that they have the ability to interfere with anything and everything. It, there's been a range of stuff for quite a bit, year, many years. Uh, furnaces, refrigerators, air conditioners, anything electronic, even the electric box. But uh, I wanted to make note for today. Uh, I did receive a phone call at 12.53 p.m. It seems like I just called it back before I did this video. Um, but, uh, sounds like some type of advertising agency I don't know or something being advertised uh, coincidentally at the same time my game is being all messed up I've had prank calls there's other people making prank calls you got the guy across the street basically making social threat over consuming life and basically making it out that he's gonna take ownership of whatever I do like he has a right to make me an asset and control it so besides just him and himself the organizational shit behind it you got the other neighbors over here acting like they're cops they keep calling out nypd you got the druggies over in the motorcycle shop calling out nypd uh they also was stalking there's a lot of that back and forth multitudes of different states but besides that we'll just do new york city and uh columbus ohio uh interfering with my life and all the rest of the bullshit like they know they know when I wipe my ass last which isn't a great thing to say like and on top literally that's not even just like an insinuation that's basically literal uh, making out they have the house tapped all the rest of this shit while they're organizing their own governmental infrastructure type of uh, no we're good guys bad guys we do whatever the fuck we want to so with that being said bunch of the neighbors she also have uh, some other intelligence probably like German and I'm gonna say probably I don't know 100% if they're connected to Germany or if they're just utilizing their German background to uh, intimidate with and, you know my stepfather was German also and that's another thing they're trying to take on challenging everything in life family life I bet you I can take on your brother I bet you I can take on your mom and it ain't just physical fight it's life will value of stuff uh and intellect intelligence um social life so but i'm not going to give them the hands-on because my family is also involved with the situation and aiding these people not helping me they're aiding these people um with that and being involved with the organizational what i call organized crime um law enforcement misconduct corruption and organ participation with organized crime and hey buddy hey buddy hey buddy trying to get on my fucking nerves well you better produce something i was out in washington dc and there is major shit that happened even when i was out there all the way around even being stalked but intervention one way i won't i can't call it intervention because it really wasn't 100 percent it made stop or else these guys wouldn't be doing what they're doing but if you're going to act like I'm under public sanction, you need paperwork. If you got this, you need paperwork. You got that, you need paperwork. I go to the police again, just like the police. that They've also busted down what I call part of the associated organized crime. Their community outcry trying to ostracize me or whatever the words are. Basically stalking emotionally, psychologically trying to assault, systematically assault. Creating a whole neighborhood rift if not community everywhere that I go though it's not just here in Columbus Ohio 
they've stalked and followed and enforcing that they have a right to do this. Well, the police have intervened in some of the stuff, and they cost some of the people, at which point what I think is real without being all oh, pussy, babyfied, ah, all right, we'll do it another way. Being threatened and intimidated, I'll be challenged if I challenge back. Um, that the cops did stop people and told them straight up, you'll be charged with criminal harassment, misdemeanor to start out with, if the situation persists, or he calls back in and that's what you're doing. Uh, there, he, there's no paperwork in our computer that would allow you to do that. One, two, you should have the paperwork with you. Three, even if there is paperwork, does that give you the right to be doing what you're doing? or trying to make it out that you're taking the law into your own hands. Um, so, a lot of bullshit. All this due to gameplay, huh? Xbox freezing up and so on, iterating and intimidation. Ha 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 ha. We got what, what you gonna do? I'm warning them right now because they love eavesdropping. They can overhear conversations without it being on a phone. They eavesdrop on the phone, electronics too try to mimic psychologically what I say assault, harass, emotionally assault, emotional harassment of your geek. We know about your videos, your daily journals, all the rest. We know you ain't going to do shit. I, I'll i pit physical force behind that. You want to make a bet? And it ain't the same physical force you're intimidating me with. There's somebody else that's going to step in. I'm telling you, you're in corrupt acts and you need to quit. Get the fuck away from me. <clears throat> Trying to deem me that they have a health right to go ahead and control, take away, strip me of my rights. Well, there's been no paperwork in the computer and lawyers, everything else, if I can get the money to get them up, or maybe not, uh, to go ahead and progress these people. Until then, yeah, until then what? There's, I just overheard someone say, until then verbally intimidating verbal assault oh everything you say I'll, I'll blackmail you or it isn't really the terminology that's not technical it's actually a, not the right term to be used but I will I'll just mimic whatever you do and then try to basically what was told to me by the system is systematical assault where they're utilizing system lying fraudulent lies uh, trying to do whatever they can in their ways to affect me, systematically or not. Making false reports, making aggravated complaints, making out that they're so freaking tired of me, they can't stand me. And they really can't stand me, but that doesn't give them the lawful rights to be doing what they're doing. It's illegitimate complaint, and then they're trying to basically, uh, and was caught doing it, was caught by mental health also. And some of the stuff that I'm talking about, mental health, went to go to the police. The police force here is corrupt. There's a lot of police corruption. I can't directly talk to police force without it being some type of shit. At, we'll get public rights to understand what you're doing. If you're going to make a report against us, we got the rights to know it too. You know what I mean? You don't, but we do. I don't know how to explain that. If we made a report about you, but you don't have the rights to know it. But if you make a report about us, we'll know it. And then uh, you know what could happen to you type of situation. Um major major threat anyways with law enforcement size uh, you don't fuck with law enforcement you drop your jaws I'm gonna break it you don't have a right to fucking progress me you're nothing but uh, trying to play that you're undercover at which point that's another situation that needs to be looked into excessive force uh, well what do you call that uh, not imitation impersonation even if they are police, but impersonating a different position or impersonating the power that they have to enforce. Uh, there's a lot of other things on top to add on top of all of that, like being implanted, being told that I'm going to have, and they're pressing buttons and you know what will happen to you, fucking threats and all the rest. There's no paperwork for their situation in the system to where I can verify it. So, it's being talked about of what's going to go on with that. I have been completely physically, psychologically, and emotionally assaulted. And those are all uh, systematical criminal charges that stick. It's not just a systematical assault, which still sticks, but it's not, it's not a, something that is not a part of my bodily self. 
anyways ending this video and i'll upload it here in a little bit just for a daily journal to see what i'm recording to show as a targeted individual to a point uh, other individuals of uh, what stalking.org says to do what domestic violence orgs and all the rest of it log what's happening we'll try to be the best log it the best way that you can video is great uh, writing it down on paper is great that's the first notion they said write it down you can do videos do videos so that's what I've been doing and being scolded that that's mentally insane you don't do shit like that victims victims rights victims places all these places saying to go ahead write stuff down do this do that and these guys are intimidating you don't do things like that uh, we'll get you I'll make it harder on you boom what I was told at the uh, mental health facility here them threatening social life even if they're not making physical contact even though the threat of making physical contact at times or something that's indirectly related to them has happened but even without that uh, destroying of social life to the point that I don't have a life is the same amount of life threatening as it is somebody holding a gun to me telling me I don't I shouldn't move I don't you know be in their control and force it's no different they're just using systematical situations social situations to intimidate enforce and destroy natural life living life which replicates back into physical mental and everything else life so anyways there goes the log there goes the time and date of the more or less I'm going to go ahead and say it's jamming electronic interference intentional uh, for the fact I overheard quite a few different <laughs> maybe but oh yeah imagine that could you imagine imagine your neighbors speaking out and then you can't prove it and they're trying to make a mental health situation out of that oh now he's mentally ill because he can't prove it I traveled to Washington DC April 1st uh, I think a lot of people realized even perfectly good strangers that I was stalked out there same thing over many years so point is is that's that should be good enough point with anybody okay I'm having a problem here these people are bothering me they want to play good community they don't like me in their community then what the crap are you following me across the United States for trying to subject me to the same power every community that there is any which way that you can systematically assault Jurisdictional problems on top, which was discovered way back in 2002, probably even before then, and talked about in another state, about another state or their people, somebody trying to represent the power of somebody else. How am I supposed to get away from being victimized if I'm being followed? They're traveling with me. Type of stuff. But anyhow. Uh, heads up. Oh, we can take care of that for you, puppy! Babyfied treatment, wrong treatment, misconduct, all kinds of stuff going on. And it has been proven, like in Colorado Springs, Colorado. There is proof. There's, oh, there's, it's too hard for me to explain, but systematically here, everybody keeps pointing the finger back to Columbus, Ohio, and have been since even 2002. And they're also talking not just Columbus, Ohio, Colorado Springs, the jurisdictional problems that happened in 2002, but that, that's carried on since then, since I acknowledged it. I didn't even know, I won't say didn't know, but when I, it was held by law enforcement out there, investigative-wise, whatnot, uh, that's when I knew I could accept it, you know, without having to feel that somebody's going to try to sabotage me being mentally insane or take advantage of me and you know sabotage my life which they still have done and that's because of corrupt systems working but that's when I accepted you know I'll hold on to that for life it's something that somebody else with legal legalities and put an investigation behind uh, and also enforced with that they don't have the jurisdiction to do jack shit and it was a misdemeanor charge I do believe that wasn't even on paper I couldn't even see it myself there's just too much misconduct with that completely anyhow. 
excessive money use or representation type of stuff of the citizens, taxpayers, dollars. So it turns into basically what they're doing is also fraud. Money, uh, it's not money laundering, I don't think. But you kind of get the gist that they're wrongfully using their occupation, utilizing it, even if they're not keeping money or they're pocketing money, they're using money. And say they're sitting out at a restaurant and they're utilizing taxpayers' dollars to make out that they're investigating making a watch and they had to use that money to go to the restaurant. I don't know if that's 100%, you know, what it is, but something to the effect. It's misuse of the money. They may not always be putting money in their pocket, but they're sure spending it and trying to spend it from jurisdictional fucking views. Anyhow, um, that's not due process. Excessive spending to a case. You have a case that says, uh, which I'll get into real quick, and it makes sense of what kind of pressure I'm under. Understanding what was explained to me, what I've read, what I was explained, is, say, you have a case, say I stole a candy bar, and I don't know how exactly it worked, but I'm still a candy bar. They put in a case that I'm theft. They have an X amount of set amount of dollars that is allowed to be used by the system. Well, if you go over that, the system is held responsible for excessive spending and not due process of taking care of the case. Uh, too much time, it ain't just about statute of limitations. You could have a statute of limitations of two and a half years to charge but yet they can't pursue the investigation any further because they already spent all the investigative funds to investigate that case. The only way that they could, per se, in that situation is if they freely had evidence overturned somehow or something, something to the effect. But it's, it's a really weak way of pitting things. It's not proper. It's not great at all. Matter of fact, in certain views, it's really negative to use that type of situation. But let people understand the kind of pressures that it is and that systematical assault being forced to pit up with systematical force that is illegit threatening and everything else so there is my daily journal one of them there's this almost i won't call it a diary journal entry targeted situation uh one thing i could do without making complaints sound like a whiny baby uh, cry baby, what else pussy oh, an excuse for those who are watching this but if it had affected you by me saying that how do you think I'm affected anyways, is have a is I called an osculator it tracks uh, device electronics and waves, not just electronics but basically anything that has an energy currency I guess to it depending on the, how expensive you're going with it they busted some of that stuff out in New York City and busted stuff. I was part of a news story, but as far as being a part in the news story, no. I was in the situation, though, and was questioned about the electronic cell phone jamming in New York City, and that was back in 2007, I do believe, 2008, something like that. 2006, I forget what year it was, but yeah, so... They pulled that kind of stuff out, and that's how I started getting into understanding. It might be easier to discover what's being intimidated. You can't find us. You won't be able to tell, and uh, whatnot. Law enforcement does not represent here in Columbus, Ohio. They do in else other places like Florida. If you have a complaint of electronic jamming, especially cell phone, they'll bring out a handheld osculator type of device and uh, scan your situation, maybe put in an investigation and install temporarily or sit outside and uh, utilize if the device activates that there's other signals and I'll try to figure out who that person is they'll track the signal because most of the devices that use to jam any electronics supposed to have an FCC ID and they would get the ID try to find the owner much less they'd also be able to identify that device immediately because now they have direct identification to that device but you're starting to play around with people that understand that and they're building these devices themselves uh, and not pitting in the proper serial number type of stuff trackable stuff to be utilized but if it's government agencies uh, trying to utilize it or somebody mis misconducting or misutilizing stuff it should be traceable anyways um, that's that on this uh, 
this is one video. Uh, you got comments, comment. Have a good day. Peace.